Good evening. It's Tuesday, June 15, 2021, here in Cebu City. I'm Cherry Ann Lim, and this is Sunstar Tonight. After today's Senate hearing attended by Cebu Governor Gwendolyn Garcia, Cebu Province will still stick to its swab test upon arrival policy for overseas Filipino workers and returning overseas Filipinos arriving at the Mactan Cebu International Airport. Instead, the governor invited the consultants of the National Interagency Task Force to come over to Cebu to discuss the arrival protocols. Chari Coronel reports. Cebu Governor Gwendolyn Garcia has invited the technical advisors of the Interagency Task Force for the Management of Emerging Infectious Diseases to present their data before the members of the provincial board. Garcia attended the Senate hearing today which tackled the government's COVID-19 response and quarantine protocols. During the hearing, the governor shared about the COVID-19 situation and the quarantine protocols in Cebu province. She has been pushing for the swab of an arrival policy for overseas Filipino workers and returning Filipinos under the Executive Order No. 17. The EO was later strengthened through the issuance of Provincial Ordinance 2021-04. Also, during the hearing, Garcia said she did not receive a copy of the result of the critique regarding the arrival protocols of Cebu. To recall, President Rodrigo Duterte tasked the Department of Health to critique the quarantine protocol of the province. DOH Secretary Francisco Duque III apologized to the governor for not sending the copy and assured to provide such. He also adhered to the invitation of Garcia to visit Cebu. After the Senate hearing, Garcia met with key officials of the province to discuss measures for arrival protocols. DOH Central Visayas spokesperson Dr. Mary Jean Loreche said the province will still implement the swab upon arrival policy. Loreche added the province did not defy the order of the president since it still follows the IATF guidelines. Chari Coronel, Sunstar Tonight. 49 workers of a construction site in Cebu City have tested positive for COVID-19. The workers confessed that they had been complacent and had not followed the minimum health standards. Johanna Bahinti reports. The Department of Health Central Visayas has recorded 74 new COVID-19 cases in Cebu City yesterday, 49 of which were workers of a construction site in Barangay Lahug. City Councilor Joel Garganera, the Deputy Chief Implementer of the Emergency Operations Center, said that these workers are now in the Barangay Isolation Center. Garganera added that the workers are all close contacts and asymptomatic. They confessed that they were complacent in their workplace by not following the health protocols. Garganera said the construction company has their own Health Infection and Prevention Control Officer or HIPCO, which made the coordination easier. The EOC also reported that cases in the city were increasing for the last six days. As of June 14, Cebu City has 626 active COVID-19 cases based on the case bulletin of the Department of Health. Johanna Bahinting, Sunstar Tonight. A pastor in Argao Town in southern Cebu has been arrested in an entrapment operation for alleged illegal recruitment. Chari Coronel reports. The National Bureau of Investigation Central Visayas has arrested a pastor during an entrapment operation for illegal recruitment. NBI Regional Director Rinan Oliva said the suspect was identified as Bernardo Alabarando, who is commonly identified as Pastor Billy from Barangay Langob, Argyle Town in southern Cebu. Oliva said three persons reported to them that they were victimized by Pastor Billy after they were promised of a work in New Zealand. Land. One of the complainants said that the suspect offered them a job in New Zealand as factory workers with a salary of 5,000 New Zealand dollars or 178,000 pesos. He added they paid 35,000 pesos as placement fee. However, when they checked the company that the suspect told them, the company said 
it did not offer recruitment. The NBI verified to the Philippine Overseas Employment Agency Central Visayas the record of Albarando and found out the pastor is not a licensed recruiter. The suspect is allegedly a member of Things to Come Mission Congregation. When asked for a comment, Albarando said he will answer all queries in the court. Large-scale illegal recruitment has been filed against him. Chari Coronel, Sister Tonight. The Commission on Elections has launched a mobile application for voter registration. The app has been rolled out in over 500 towns and cities, including Cebu City. Kamala Commissioner Marlon Casquejo said the launch of the mobile app is very timely due to mobility restrictions brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic. The Comelec said it can be accessed using any smartphone, even when offline. Registrants could use the mobile app to submit necessary personal information. However, they will still need to go to their respective Comlec offices for the biometrics. To get the latest, visit www.sunstar.com.ph. Follow us on our YouTube channel and official social media accounts on Twitter and Facebook. I'm Cherry Ann Lim. Thanks for watching Sunstar tonight. See you again tomorrow. Good night.